you guys we are outside again because i filmed yesterday outside and it was so nice so this might be a regular thing <laughs> ziggy's here with us he's interested in my food At the end of one of my last videos i asked you guys your favorite sandwich and you guys made me hungry like i'm not gonna lie you guys all had some like very interesting responses there are a few that i was like i've never heard of that sandwich before or that combo and then a few of you guys reminded me of sandwiches that i love <laughs> so here i am i think two or three people said that their favorite sandwich is a tomato sandwich so I'm just gonna have myself a little tomato sandwich. Mine has mayonnaise, salt and pepper. So I'm gonna enjoy that and then we will get into all the fun things that I purchased. I just looked over everything that I bought and I was like, dang, I kind of went a little ham while I was on vacation. But you guys know me, I love shopping. You guys like to see what I buy. Here we are. Also really quick, I feel like I might wanna start doing like one day a week vegetarian day and try to reduce my consumption of meat because i think that that would be good i just watched the netflix show seaspiracy and it made me want to have like one day a week vegetarian night have you guys seen that netflix show documentary do you guys like documentaries i love documentaries so if you ever have any suggestions for good documentaries i'm always looking for more <laughs> i love you but do you love me unconditionally or do you love me conditionally? And that condition being food. <laughs> all right, you guys, I feel much better. Let's get into this haul. I've collected all of the things ugh, that I purchased and I put them in this laundry basket. I also have a little bit of PR, but I will leave all of the PR packages to the end of the video in case some of you guys aren't interested in that and you just wanna see like what I've purchased with my own money. First off, I forgot me these super cute little sunglasses today. I am feeling the funky throwback vibes in these. I feel like, I don't know. They're just kind of like that like Y2K. Are these like nine? I guess these are more 90s than Y2K, but like, you know, I feel like that's been in lately and I'm feeling it with this like groovy little shirt I got going on. They were a whopping $3.99. <laughs> And I honestly love them so much and I don't want them to break that I might end up buying a second pair next time I'm at the grocery store where I bought them, the discount grocery store. Uh, yeah, I like them. I think they're cute and they're only four bucks. So I might get myself a second pair just in case this pair easily breaks. <laughs> Everett's at the neighbors if you guys hear him in the background. He's at our neighbor's house right behind me. Okay, first up, what is the first store that we went to? Marshalls, you guys know I love me a good Marshalls. This is why people don't film outside, is because it's loud. Now I realize. So the first thing that I ended up picking up at Marshalls was this super cute little beaded bag. It's kind of like a smaller beaded bag. So maybe just like a date night or daytime little bag. It's from Singrid Olsen. And I just thought it was a really fun like beachy style and perfect for spring and summer with like lighter wardrobes and just, you know, kind of like a more beachy vibe. And it was only $10, which I thought was awesome. Um, I don't know how much it was originally, but it had multiple of the red stickers on there. So I thought it was pretty cute and I feel like it'll just go with a lot of my wardrobe. You guys know me, I like like a very boho kind of style. So that was cute and 10 bucks was so cheap. I find a lot of the like Korean skincare at Marshalls and TJ Maxx and they have such good products, you guys. If you guys haven't checked out Korean skincare, makeup, like body products, they're usually pretty affordable and like pretty decent quality. Um, and they're always like really cute packaging, it seems like. They're really into the like fun little like innocent packaging. Um, so these are, I don't know the brand because I it's in a different language. All I can read is it says banana milk body lotion and banana milk body cleanser. These ones were $6 each, so $12 for the pair. They also had a strawberry one that I was actually thinking about picking up and then I left behind. I actually kind of regret it, so if I go back to Marshalls, I'll probably try to see if they have the strawberry one here. But yeah, these smell so good, you guys. It smells like a banana runts. Oh my God, it smells so good. It's like almost to the point that like you want to eat it. Like that's how good it smells. If you guys don't like like gourmand scents or like smells that are like almost food-like. I don't think you'd like this because it literally smells like a banana runts or like a banana candy and it's delicious. I wonder what the brand is. Wellcoast. 
wellcoast.com. And I also got two little tops right here. You guys know I like these little crop tops. I talk about them all the time. For shirts like this, where I want like a little small shirt underneath in case I get hot and it's a bit of a crop top and I don't wanna only wear the crop top, I like to like layer, you know what I mean? So I love getting those little kind of tops at stores like this. And I really like this brand too. I've mentioned it in the past. Bazolo, but this one was six dollars and it's just a little black crop top it's almost like a sports bra with a little bit extra length and super stretchy and comfortable sometimes i can get away with like not wearing a bra which is nice because that doesn't happen for me often and then i also just got this little white one as well since I was there, this is just like a little racer back tank. And I don't know if they consider these like a bra or a yoga bra or crop top. Anyways, I love these and so comfortable. I wear them all the time. I also ended up picking up a new pair of shorts. I thought I was gonna need another pair of shorts while I was actually there in Palm Springs, um, but it turns out I didn't. So I didn't actually end up wearing these, but I thought these were really good as far as style goes for the price. So the these are the brand Vanilla Star, which I've seen at Marshalls before, but I've never picked them up. They were $12.99, and I just thought they were cute because they have this super high-rise exposed button in the front right here, and they are very, very high-rise. I'd say they're like a 12 to 13 inch rise, and then they have a bit of a raw hem at the bottom. I thought that the coloring on the denim was also pretty cute. And they just looked very comfortable, non-restricting, and I tried them on. I couldn't, dressing rooms are still closed, so I couldn't try them on there, but I did try them on once we got back to our trailer and they fit really well. So I'm excited to wear these over summertime and I just think they're a good like basic staple pair. This is not a very exciting purchase, but I'll show you anyways. I got these Croc flip-flops. <laughs> I feel like it's hard for me to find a just basic pair of black flip-flops, like just basic black. My old ones I have worn to death and they literally are so thin I can like feel the ground through the flip-flop. So I needed a new pair and these ones were pretty affordable and I just thought they were good and basic. They're not very cute, honestly. They're just like very basic, but I will say when I tried these on in store, they're super comfortable. I think that's everything that I got at Marshalls. Moving on to Ross, I got quite a lot of clothes because they had a lot of really like nice basic staple crop tops. <laughs> so I got this little like nude, almost like pinky nude little crop top right here. Again, very stretchy and comfortable. This one has a little bit more of a thicker strap than the other ones. This one's from a different brand. It's called Bella Seamless. Right there. I like that color a lot. Same material on this one right here. It's kind of like that stretchy material, but this one's like actually a little like baby tee t-shirt and has buttons up the front. That same brand though, Bella Seamless. That'd look cute with a little pair of shorts, like those shorts that I got earlier. Oh, and then I got a little two pack. Apparently I really felt like I needed more little camis, crop top camis. So I got this two pack right here, same brand, Bella Seamless. And then these were $12, so $6 each. This one just has like a higher neckline. This one's just a really pretty kind of like green color. It's a little bit more of like a deeper jade green. A lot of stretchy crop tops. <laughs> okay, I got a red one right here. Is this from? This one's from the below. Belozo, Belozo brand. And I got a white one. This one's a little bit different. It's not quite as like form fitting, I would say. I would say it's more of like a workout top. And then it is high neckline with a lower like underarm area. Um, stretchy white, just has this like interesting detail in the front here with this line. And I got some cute little biker shorts right here. Got dog hair on them already. They're kind of like a shorter biker short. I don't know if I would wear these out. I'd probably only just wear these like around the house, maybe for a dog walk, but probably not like to the store. They just seem a little short. These little shorts right here, a little bit more of like a sweatpant short. They have that like really thick sweatband top with the elastic, just like very comfortable. These ones were $7. They do have little pockets on the side. Apparently I was in a, I need to buy lounge around the house kind of clothes. 
I found this super cute little smiley face shirt right here. You guys know I love little smiley faces, like very on brand for me in my personal opinion. They just make me happy and very fun. Um, I have one that has like a big smiley face in the front. Choose happy, you know? When I look at it, it actually does make me happy. It's from the brand Vibe In, Vibe In. And this one was $8. Oh my God, you guys. I got these. These are so funky. Like the only thing about these is I wish that they were wide leg and they're not. These are, these are Polo Ralph Lauren pants right here they are patchwork blue they're kind of like a shabby chic looking quilting patchwork with all those cute little like flowers and so cute they do have the slit hem on the ankle area and high rise there's like a little trouser moment going on i got these for discount 11.99 Look at the price tag on these, you guys. Oh my God. I almost like don't want to take the tags off because like, whoa, that's expensive. But these are so cute and fun. And like, you guys know me, I love the like granny vibes. I hope they fit because they look like they might be a little loose, a loose caboose because I have no booty, you guys know that. I just think they're so cute. I have no idea what to style these with. Please comment down below what shirt I should put with this. Like, should I put, I almost feel... I don't know, man. I'm about to go on Pinterest and look up like patchwork pants inspo because I don't know what to wear with these, but these deserve a moment. All right, and I think this is the last top or like clothing I got from Ross. Again, another, oh no, I got this at Target. I got this at Target in the little kid section. I sometimes shop the little kid section because I can fit into like the extra large of the children's. So I got this again. A smiley face but this smiley face is cute it's like a crop top with a pink color and then the smiley face is like kind of like an acid wash tie-dye situation going on i just thought it was so cute and fun i got this for ten dollars and i don't know maybe with like a pair of like white shorts or something would this go with with this is this just like too much this with yeah that might just be too much right I kind of think that the light pink looks pretty with it, but maybe like this smiley face with the, I don't know, I'd have to try it on, but might look cute, might look bad. What do I wear with these? I want a smiley face pop socket for my phone because I just think it'd be so cute to have the little smiley face right here. And then the last thing that I got at Ross was the Ariana Grande Thank You Next perfume right here. I have been wanting the cloud perfume for so long because people absolutely love it. They say it's like such a nice perfume. People that are like really into high end fragrances like that fragrance. And I've heard that she just makes like really nice fragrances for people that are like very bougie with their fragrance. So I love the cloud one. It's in the blue little container. Um, and I've been wanting it for a while, but I just haven't like made the plunge. You guys know I like discount stuff and so I never want to like buy something full price usually. I already took the packaging off of this one but I'm pretty sure that this one was $19.99 which is not bad and it's so cute. So it comes in this little package right here. If you don't like this piece you can always just take that out. It like opens up and then you can just keep and store the perfume like this. When I first sprayed this perfume I actually didn't like it. Like I was like oh maybe that's why it was at Ross. Um, but I've never seen it there before. I don't know if it will be there when we go back. But once it dries down later, I was like, oh, I actually really like it once it dries down. The initial spray wasn't great. My neighbor's um, doing their band practice. So if you hear anything in the background. When I first, when it first sprays, I just like don't love it at first, but then once it starts to dry down, it has more of the like vanilla musky kind of smells that I do prefer. So yeah, it just takes a second once it's sprayed to get good. And I definitely prefer the dry down notes. So yeah, super cute. And I thought it was a good price for 20 bucks. First off, I got this Palmer's Natural Vitamin E Body Oil. I like to use this just when I'm like out in the sun or sometimes even when I get out of the shower, I mix it in with my lotion just to hydrate my skin a little bit more than usual. 
I also got this Zoeva highlighter compact. This one was really cheap. I think it was like two to three dollars, like very affordable for it being Zoeva, which is like a pretty good brand. It's just kind of like this pinky highlighter right here and then a more like darker brown color. I use that kind of like over my bronzer as a topper. So got this Milani Intense Bronze Glow Face and Body Powder Bronzer. It's huge. You guys, this was also very affordable. Um, it is shimmery, so if you guys don't like a shimmery bronzer, I'd stay away from it, but this was only a few dollars. I think also like three to four dollars. Um, so I picked it up and I just thought it was really a lot of product for bang for your buck, you know? I got this little e.l.f. powder right here. It's just a soft luminance. This one does have like a bit of a shimmer to it. So if you don't like that, I would steer clear of this because I could tell on my face when I wore this that it had a bit of a like, I don't know, just like dewy luminosity to it. I really like that. And then the last thing I got, I've already used, so it's not in its packaging anymore, but it is this like makeup revolution. It was a really good price too. I think it was like, eight to ten bucks it's this little makeup revolution pigments and glitter and little pigment adhesive so it comes with the adhesive so you kind of have to use like a glitter glue or else it'll be a hot mess and it'll be all over your face it also came with a little brush right there and then it came with all of these makeup pigments i love pigments because they're very like bright and shiny and just beautiful i used to use them all the time on my clients when i did makeup for proms and weddings bridesmaids i did my friend ari's um she was in a bodybuilding competition and she had really like sparkly eyeshadow and i used pigments on her eyes so there they are right here i love this one right here it's like a super pretty glittery like champagne -y color also this white one's very pretty but just like really realistic colors moving on to all of the pr stuff that i got so i did end up getting these seem so bougie you guys i just got these in the mail i think the last few days so i haven't gotten a chance to use all three of them i have used the body cream right here so it's a holy lotus and organic white tea body cream it smells so good it definitely smells like very spa like i feel like these are products that you would find like in a spa or like a nice fancy hotel kind of like lobby or something. I just feel like the packaging is also so beautiful on this. Like the nice rose gold kind of like metal looking top. These would be beautiful like displayed in the bathroom, you know? I have been wanting to get one of the tree hut scrubs. So this actually came in the perfect time because I feel like this is just like even like more of a like luxe brand of the tree hut ones. But people love those. It smells really, really good as well. Just like very bougie. This would be a nice gift, I think. And then they do have the fun little shower foam full of kindness, holy lotus spray body wash. I have used a spray body wash like this before and it's so fun. It comes out kind of like a shaving cream, um, but then it like suds up and it just feels so like fancy and fun. So thank you so much um, Rituals for sending these over. They smell amazing and I'll let you guys know how I feel about them after I've used them for a little while in like a wrap up video. Sometimes you guys like me to do like what I feel about products that I've shared with you guys after the haul, you know? Next up, Eco Roots ended up sending me over some of their shampoo and conditioner. They're like bars. So basically they're great because it's sustainable. There's less packaging. You don't have to recycle anything. Like the shampoo and conditioner literally comes in these fun little bars right here. I'm pretty sure that Lush, when I used to shop there, used to have a similar product. I haven't tried these yet, but I find them very interesting. Honestly, I'll probably use these a lot when camping over the summertime or even maybe in our travel trailer when we go on trips. It's perfect because it's just so easy to pack. So they sent me over four little ones to try. Like I said, I haven't tried them out yet, so I don't have any opinions on them quite yet. And I, honestly, they didn't send me any packaging with this to tell me which ones are the shampoo and which ones are the conditioner since they look different, but I honestly don't know. I wish that they would have included something in there just to kind of like inform me what's going on here, but I could just go on their website and check it out. So I'll probably end up doing that. I'm assuming that I have no idea, honestly. They look the same. They're kind of like a waxy consistency. So yeah, I'm gonna actually have Everett try these out too because I feel like maybe this might be something that like a guy would really like too, just like quick and easy in the hair, 
you know, guys, they're very minimal. So, so thank you so much, Eco Roots, for sending me these over. If I have any discount codes for any of these products, I will link them all in the description box down below, along with like the links to these products as well. So, thank you for sending those little shampoo conditioners over. It's all about sustainability, which you guys know I'm all about and for, so I love that. All right, you guys, and then this is the last little box right here and probably one of the ones I was most excited for. It's this beautiful bundle that Clarins ended up sending me these over. So thank you so much, Clarins. This is like their whole skincare line and it's all around like hydration. I was reading all about it and it seems so nice. So here is the Velvet Cleansing Milk. This is kind of like a creamier cleanser that helps remove all makeup. So it would be great for anyone with dry skin since it is a bit like creamier. I love this. This is perfect for my skin, especially I double cleanse. So I like to use this in step one. I have been using this for about three weeks now and all of these products just feel so luxe. So in step one, I like to cleanse and get all the makeup off and then I go in with another cleanser after this. But if you don't wear that much makeup like me, I wear a full face, you could probably just get away with the one, the one time cleansing. It's, it's almost like a light lotion kind of like consistency. Here is the hydrating toning lotion with aloe vera and saffron flower extracts, normal to dry skin right here. I just put it on a little cotton pad after cleansing my skin. It does seem to hydrate my skin and it feels a little bit like, I don't know, it almost feels like a light like citrusy almost slightly floral scent. My skin feels so soft and clean afterwards, so that's also really nice. Then this is the serum. This is a mixture of two different types of serums mixed together, so when you pump it, it actually mixes the serums together. Helps with brightening, anti-aging. I feel like it just makes my skin look a little bit firmer and great for anyone probably over 30 years old with any signs of aging, I would say. Absolutely love this, so does my friend Sarah. She literally like loves this stuff so that's what I was really intrigued to try and 10 out of 10 for that one that one's definitely a bougie like just really good quality product I can tell all of these products really I'm not disappointed with any of the products but some I feel like are more necessary than others this is the Clarins uh, cream hydra essence a very silky cream hydrating kind of like thicker moisturizer if you guys don't like a super thick moisturizer I'd skip this one but if you feel really dry and you want something that's nice like almost like a sleeping mask really really nice eye mask i've been using it as an eye cream but apparently it's a mask so you can just leave it on for 10 minutes and then take it off as needed um but yeah i've just been wearing it all night long and i feel like my eyes do feel like nice and moisturized and rejuvenated in the morning um i liked it but it wasn't necessarily like a must-have for me compared to some of the other products and then this is the hydra essential moisturizing lip balm a little like bougie lip balm i like it do i necessarily feel like you need to have it no do i feel like it's quality yes so if you guys just feel like a nice little treat for yourself this whole line like i i didn't dislike anything from the line like the whole time every time i was washing my face with all of this stuff and like doing my nighttime skincare routine i felt like i was pampering myself for sure so it was very bougie and nice so if you guys want to treat yourself it was good do you have to do that not necessarily, <laughs> you know what I mean? But it was really, really good. I enjoyed it. Thank you so much, Clarence, for sending me all of those things. All right, you guys, hopefully this video is not too long. Sorry if it was loud. I'm outside and yes, there's just outside noises going on. Everett's chatting, the dogs are barking, band practice is going on, but I really wanted to be outside. So <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you guys so, so much. And I'll see you very, very soon for my last thrifting in Palm Springs video, which should be coming up very soon. I have one more and yeah, it was great. All right, you guys, see you guys later. Bye.